Hi folks, Orlando back again. Got a little something different to review this time. Normally we do regular rations, etc, etc. Well, this time this is a little something different. There's a website called Majorsurplus.com. It's a surplus outfit out of California. Um, they have some good deals every once in a while. One thing that I was able to catch on a deal, thanks to the help of a friend of mine, was what they called their Hungry Man's Lunchbox. Now, we caught this at a sale price, so definitely had to give this a try. So I figured it might be a good time to take a look and see. Um, kind of surprised this thing came like it was pictured in a real ammo can. Real ammo can. Sorry. And that just goes to show you how heavy it is. It moved the camera. So let's take a look in here. Oh, hey, okay. So as you can see, we are loaded with stuff. So let me pull this back. Let's pull this out and take a look. Okay, so what we have, there is a maple muffin top. Chocolate chip cookies. A pepperoni shelf stable sandwich. Shelf stable sandwich. Try saying that five times. One, two, three packs of animal snack crackers. All three look to be chocolate flavored. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six packs of drinking water. And each one of these, of course, it's the emergency purified, Coast Guard approved, 4.227 full ounces. Then we have Millennium Energy Bar Cherry. A Millennium Energy Bar Lemon. A, ooh, MRE Beef Taco Filling. I have never tried the Beef Taco Filling. That is gonna be interesting to try. That looks like that has a 2013 production date, end of 2013, so. Still in the window there. We have a turkey chili with beans. Huh. All right. Interesting. This one is a Maracol. This one looks like a Sopaco. No, it's a, huh. Ah. Uh, so we have two Ameriqual. They are both Ameriqual, but if you'll see here, big logo, little type. Big type showing the date. This one, you have to actually look close. It's a 2011 production. So, same company, just different years. Interesting. And this, surprisingly, comes with three non-food items, other than the ammo can, of course. It comes with a stainless steel binder mug, An Adventure Gear folding stove. We'll pull that out in a second. And a NATO style chow set, which is like the one that I have. I'll be the first to admit I like this. 
I wouldn't mind having an extra, so this will come in real handy. Because as you can tell from my first video, the Spanish review, sometimes you get forgetful and you forget your utensils. So, let's set all this to the side. Okay, first thing we're going to take a look at, because we know what the NATO chow set looks like. You've seen mine in my previous video, the French RCIR part two, and if you haven't, hey, good time to go watch it. So we're going to start. Let's take a look at this locking carabiner binder mug. See what we have. Ooh, ow. That is definitely in there. All right. It says it holds a full 10 ounces, 304 stainless steel, Take a look here. Hmm. Definitely a shiny stainless. Minor folds, it is locking. All right, so we have that. We have our folding stove. Which, if you'll remember from the Spanish and the first part of the French video, I have one of these that I use all the time. So, I highly recommend having one of these just as a backup. Because, as you can see right here, they're small. They hold well. This one is a stainless steel. Mine is a matte color. And, of course, this one says it has eight extra large fuel tabs with matches. So, all you do is you fold this out. I usually leave it at an angle like that because it helps with the windscreen plus gives more support for the mug but with bigger pots you can go all the way like that no problem haven't seen these before I'm used to the Esbit style that's smaller so that is really interesting kind of wondering how those do versus the other huh, might have to do a little mini review and test them out and there are eight of those and then mill spec matches. Oh, and these are like the ones that come in the German rations. They're actually wood. They're not the press board like you normally find. It's a wooden match and separates out. You've got your striker on the inside, which I find much handier. Because on the outside, it tends to get messed up, especially in your pocket. Here, it's protected. So, a little bit better. Nice little stove unit. Lightweight. You can see it has the air holes in the bottom. So while you are cooking, you do get your updraft. And like I say, you know, especially in this case, with this mug being a little small, boil you some water, have you everything good to go, you're ready to rock. So. Not bad considering... Always good to have a couple of these sitting around, and they're usually inexpensive, less than 20 bucks, even for the name brands. So, and it falls under the KISS principle, keep it simple, stupid. The fact you can use your flame tabs, but in a pinch you can also use wood or other materials, so you're not limited fuel sources. So as a backpacking item, it comes in very handy. So we'll slap that back in there for a minute. All right. Okay, so what we're going to do now, let's take a look. I have never opened one of these pouches of water. 
I understand what they're there for, and I understand what you use them for. I've never actually opened one, so we're going to try it today. Well, I said we were. Ah, I put the notch on the wrong side, no wonder. All right. To me, leaving that flap there seems like it would be a bother, but I'm worried I might spill it if I try. So let's put our mug to work here. Okay. Emergency purified drinking water. Animal crackers. Not sure who Basil is, but these are his. So. Nope. Well, if you might want a hippopotamus for Christmas, there you go. Trust me, I'm not lying. I'll shut up now, trust me. <laughs> okay. Millennium bars. Hmm. They're both the same thing. Very hard, very dense. Seen a lot of these at gun shows, etc., etc. Personally, never tried them. We're going to try the lemon today. We're going to save the cherry for another time. Just because there is so much stuff in here. I normally keep the Daytrix bars in my vehicles. Just because I was a Boy Scout. And I'd rather have a little something in there than nothing. Not to mention the fact they aren't actually half bad. So, I'm going to be curious to try this, see how this does. Because it's supposed to have the same properties, can stay in heat. Which, if any of you have ever been to Georgia any time between, oh, say, March and December, you know one thing we have in abundance is heat. And the humidity to go with it. So, let's crack this open. I will say one thing, it definitely has that good airtight seal. So let's see here. There we go. All right. So, smells like a lemon cookie. We're going to put this in our little silverware slot there. Yeah. Sandwich, shelf stable pepperoni. This one, as you can tell from the date code, 2012, 143rd day. I have tried the Bridgeford sandwiches before. They are a main component in the first strike meals, and I have done a couple of Written reviews on mreinfo.com on those. And if you watch Gundog, Kiwi, Emmy, G. Schultz, they all have a first strike review. Of course, a little discount packet. Out of all of them, surprisingly, this is my least favorite sandwich. For one reason. 
And that's because out of all the ways they could have went with it, they chose to do a pepperoni stick in the middle of a bunch of bread. I'm sorry. There's too much bread for that little bit of stick. So that's one that that's one that they need to rethink. On the other hand, the bacon cheddar. Oh man, that is a breakfast sandwich if I have ever heard of one. But we don't have that, so we're not going to go into it. All right, chocolate chip cookie. Cookie. I can go ahead and tell you right now, this is in pieces. I can tell just by feeling it. Maybe the bottom half is still good. So let's take a look and see. Yep. It's a chocolate chip cookie. And maple muffin top. These are one of the better ideas I have seen in the MREs. And to give you a sneak peek, there will be a future MRE review where I am reviewing the MRE breakfast, maple breakfast sausage. And if my memory serves me correctly, the one I have does have that maple muffin top in there. But I will say the chocolate banana nut, the maple, the muffin tops... For some reason, they've decided to add two different, excuse me, three different breakfast pastries. They've put in Pop-Tarts and you know, toaster pastries or whatever you call them in your area. I'm from the South. It's a Pop-Tart. Get over it. They've added the muffin tops and they've added the Bridgeford turnovers, which are similar to these, but with fruit filling. I have yet to try one of the turnovers, so I cannot give an honest, unbiased thought on that. However, I don't know what they do to the toaster pastries. They just do not last. That for some reason, they take, I don't know if they've done something different or what. But, I mean, anybody can walk into any convenience store and pick up Pop-Tarts for a buck. I understand this is the soldiers on the field. This was a lot better idea than the Pop Tart. So that's just me. I'm just saying. So, okay. We've already got a tray full and we've still got two entrees to go. They might have to wait. Mm -hmm.